This is a Raspberry Pi 5 and I'm going to show you how to run Llama 3.1, the latest model from Meta on this device. You do not need anything fancier than this to run the basic model. Uh, we are going to run the quantized model. It is going to take a lot of time to run. But for you to learn how to run a large language model like Llama 3.1, on this particular device so that you can use it for different use cases like batch processing, data processing and a lot of other things. So to start with, we're going to use a project called Llama file to do this thing, but everything else we're going to get into the Raspberry Pi and then I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's get started. Once you have logged into your Raspberry Pi 5, you have to open your browser and use the link that I've given it in the YouTube description. This link will take you to this particular file path or the model where we have got a Llama file compatible Meta Llama 3.1 8 billion. So typically if you see when we quantize, we have GGUF, um, the GPTQ, but this is a specific file to uh, enable you to run using this project called Llama file. So the first thing that you have to do is open this browser and keep it ready for you to execute these commands. The first command is for us to get the model. The model is hosted on Hugging Faces Model Hub. So first step is for us to copy this command, the shell command, open your terminal and run this command. So this will download this file, which is about like four to six GB, depending upon what is the quantized model that you are getting. In my case, I didn't want the six bit quantized model. I wanted the two bit quantized model. So the lower the quantized precision, the lower the accuracy of the model would be, but I was fine because I was not ready to spend a lot of time in inference and compute. So I'm going with Q2. So if you also have the same memory footprint issues that I have, so go with Q2, but otherwise you can go with Q4 or Q6. As you can see, I've started downloading the model, but I already have this model downloaded on my machine. So I'm not going to just wait for it to completely download and uh, I can use what I already have got. So I'm just showing you that I already have this file and uh, this is the 8 billion instruct model Q2 underscore K, which is the quantization method. And we have this model inside my computer at this point. The next step is for us to change the permissions of the file. Uh, that means you have to make the file executable. So you can just copy that chmod and just go back there and then run this. Once again, just make sure that the file name is correct. Otherwise you might face an error. So you can just enter the tab and then get the actual file name from your local computer or just make sure that you enter the right one. So chmod. Now we have changed the file with the permissions required to make this executable. Then all you have to do is dot a slash and then enter into the file. That is all you have to do. This is an executable file in its own. Unlike let's say Olama or something, you don't have to separately execute it. At this point, as you can see here, we have successfully executed the file. The file has started getting executed, which means the model is getting loaded into your current memory. So as you can see here, there is a percentage that is running and this is loading the model. If you want to see with the activity monitor, the task manager to see how much uh, memory that I have spent at this point, my CPU usage is pretty high, but my memory usage is not that high. So it seems like probably you can even go with higher quantized model but I wanted to play safe. So I went ahead with this model. So once this memory loading process has been completed, then you can start playing with the model. But if you get any error here, so either you have a memory issue or probably if you do not have Raspberry Pi 5, then you might also face this issue. I have not tested it with any older version of Raspberry Pi. So if you want to try it out, try it out at your own risk. But if you have got 8 GB RAM, like in my case, I think you can be pretty sure that it will most likely work because I've tried it multiple times just to make sure that the method is completely reproducible. Once this is successfully loaded, the next thing is we're going to have two different ways of running this model. One is we are going to have a very simple graphical user interface and two, we can call this as a curl curl command uh, using an HTTP request and then do it. So at this point in this particular local host link, uh, the model is being served. So you can listen to this particular port and then see the model is being served, which has a very simple graphical user interface. The second method is you can use this curl API command. Also, if you want to do Python HTTP request, you can do it. So it's a very simple command. So first let's start with this method. Then we'll move on to the second method, which is to use graphical user interface, open a new tab. And just all you have to do is paste it, make changes to whatever prompt that you want to make change. So the current prompt talks about some Python thing. So I'm going to just change it to just uh, give a very simple question so that it can answer the question and then we can see how it is going to perform. So 
write a tweet about a llama running on raspberry pi llama 3.1 if you want to so once you start this all you have to do is run it and it will take a lot of time and again like i said at the start the objective is not to say that you want to run real time inference in this maybe these models and the quantization method and the inference engine will become better but at this point you can pretty much use this for in um, batch processing you've got 10 tweets you want to, to automatically send it you can use this you have want to keep a bot that can reply to certain messages certain emails you can pretty much do this with this only thing is you cannot do it at an inference speed of real time or a couple of seconds so it takes more than a couple of seconds to process and get back to you i'm going to just cut the video so that you don't have to wait for the next 15 minutes and then come back also one thing to still notice that my memory is not like at the peak my cpu usage hits the peak but my memory usage doesn't hit the peak yet so it has given me the response back it just says that just install the llama 3.1 on my trusty raspberry pi 1 blah 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 and it does a pretty good job as you can see here it has taken about eight minutes and uh, i i'm happy with this i'm happy that i could run this model thanks to open source and all the amazing open projects the next thing is we're going to use it with the gui the gui is available in the local host 8080 port you can just go here and then change the system context so i'm just saying that you are a helpful chatbot the next thing is you have to copy the prompt template and the history template from the llama uh, the model hub from the hugging face model so copy the prompt template this is to make sure that the prompt that you're sending goes into the right format with all the tokens, the special tokens, and also the history template if you want to have the conversation going. So there are two endpoints you've got. You've got a chat endpoint and also you've got a completion endpoint. For chat, you need to have conversation history, so make sure that you have got the correct history template. But if you want chat or completion, you can change it at the top. Then if you want some kind of grammar, so you can change it. If you want to reduce the number of words that it predicts, you can always change it. So I've got 41. And also you can play with other parameters just depending upon what is the uh, thing that you're optimizing for accuracy or you want high precision, you want high creativity. So you can make all the changes, advanced changes with this. Finally, send what you want to send. What is the capital of India? Just a simple question. I ideally wanted to ask who's uh, make a joke about Elon Musk. But recently somebody said like, okay, why don't you ask somebody else? So I'm trying to figure out a less controversial question. What is the capital of India? And as you can see here, once again, my CPU usage is 98%, 90-ish. But uh, my memory is almost, you can see that I've used only one gigabyte so far. It has got slowly typing the answer. That means it's streaming the answer. So the capital of India, and then it is going to slowly type. And you can probably also see the inference speed um, in real time when, when this kind of thing happens. I've not sped up the video until now, but I'm going to cut it and then show you the final response. But it takes quite a bit of time. We've got a long answer. It is still sending the answer. So I'm going to stop it and then ask a different question. Make sure that when you ask this a different question, a new follow up question, that question is also going to contain the previous prompt that you got and the previous answer. So that means it's going to take more time because you're sending this as part of the history. So one of the things that you can do is you can reset it completely and then ask the question again. But again, this is just for demo purpose. It doesn't matter. After resetting, I've typed the same question and then sending it again. So it's going to take another couple of seconds for it to give me the answer back i've started getting my answer and uh, as you can see here it does not follow the instruction precisely even though i have said it one word just because again the quantization reducing the quantization or uh, sorry when you quantize the model there are certain trade-offs and in this case as you can see it is not pretty good with following instructions so in if you actually want to run it with a real meaning maybe you should use a four bit model so it says the correct answer is four which is absolutely correct so i want to do more experiments with raspberry pi let me know in the comment section what do you want me to do and also if you have got any use case in mind thanks to the llama file project which has successfully made it possible for us to run the 8 billion parameter model the latest llm on raspberry pi see you in another video happy prompting